the people uh, who have mentored fellows and the people you work with on the wards, um, the people you work with in research, everyone is extremely collaborative and excited about what they're doing. And I genuinely think that people are working towards a common goal. You know, early on that was kind of set the tone for the, the kind of environment that the program has here where, um, you know, you're never alone uh, and you always have someone there with you and that support if you need it. Our uh, goal for all of our fellows is to help them achieve their career aspirations. Uh, to do that, we've developed four pathways of training. And so we have uh, bench research, clinical research, uh, master clinician and medical education pathways to try to help uh, each fellow uh, achieve exactly what they want out of their career. I would say that the clinical training here is really robust. The medical ICU is a fellow driven experience and so the procedural trainings and the opportunity to make decisions um, independently while still being supported by a faculty member I think is uh, really top notch. I'd say we have a world class program in airway management and ultrasound. It's a combination of didactics and um, hands on training. So um, we first do I think two or three lectures over the, the noon time with Dr. Dorshug and he goes through the like the thought process um, behind intubation um, and um, like the, the, the drugs that you use and things like that. And then there's um, time in the simulation lab. Um, and then also um, he, he has another session where he sets up different stations um, where we can go around and use the different tools that you're able to use for intubation. The breadth of clinical opportunities at the University of Iowa is also really outstanding. So um, because of our geographic location, we serve as a uh, primary care uh, facility for a lot of patients in the region, but we're also uh, the tertiary referral center for a, a broad catchment area. And so as a trainee, what that means is you get really well versed in the bread and butter of pulmonary and critical care medicine, um, COPD, ARDS, sepsis, but you also see um, the outlier cases, the, the cases that are particularly complex um, and challenging from both a diagnostic and a management standpoint. A lot of our patients are on the ventilator and have complex ventilator management needs. And I think all of our staff are very invested in teaching the fellows good ventilator management. So I think every day during rounds, uh, we spend a lot of time with our attendings, looking at the ventilator, um, and learning how to do ventilator management, which I think is another very strong aspect of our um, ICU training. It sends from when I interviewed here that we want to do research that makes a difference. And, uh, we, you know, they, it's not what everybody is doing. It's not what uh, can be done now with the new technology. It's what real important problems are there and how we're going to solve them. And there are people who come here who really want to be a researcher and so they have a lot of time put aside which is really a, a, a gem part of our program that you can develop a research career here. When I actually matched and was able to come to the University of Iowa for my fellowship I was interested in research but I wasn't sure how that would actually play out. I didn't have enough experience in that in that realm to really have an idea and there's a lot of mentorship that are able to identify what your interests are also to guide you through those initial steps. By seeing how um, people that eventually became my, my role models uh, as physician scientists grew in their careers from being in fellowship all the way into becoming national leaders in their respective fields and they were able to do this uh, by taking big risks, by being highly supported, by being able to collaborate with everyone at our institution. Um, that really showed me firsthand what a great environment for growth this is. That University of Iowa has a unique um, mix of retaining that academic uh, environment with a lot of high power clinical and basic science researchers, but still has that sense of community and camaraderie that I think is really important. Our fellowship program is really the highest priority for our division. And uh, 
our decision making follows uh, that thinking. And so um, how we make decisions in our division uh, is largely directed towards trying to uh, improve our fellowship and keep the fellows happy and uh, and helping them achieve their career goals. You know, when you join the University of Iowa's uh, pulmonary fellowship program, you really become sort of immediately part of a family. 